So I because I've been staying home, I've been reading a lot. So I have four recommendations for you today. Of course, I hope you were staying home. Reading is a great thing to be doing. Uh, David slash recommendations. You can find today's recommendations and all of my others. And if you use the links on that page to buy the books, we get a little slice of your Amazon transaction. That's David slash recommendations. OK, this is one of the best narrative nonfiction books I've read. Hunting Eichmann by Neil Bascom. It's the story of uh, hunting, finding and capturing and ultimately uh, uh, s- uh, trying and sentencing to death of Nazi Adolf Eichmann. He was caught in Argentina where I was born, living under the name Ricardo Clement in 1960. The story is incredible. This is a, a, what Neil Bascom has done is incredible. There are 75 pages of footnotes all of the interviews, transcripts that Neil Bascom combed through to create a narrative story of the capture of Adolf Eichmann. I cannot recommend this more highly. Fantastic nonfiction book. You'll love it. OK, number two, New Jack by Ted Conover. Um, this is a book that was recommended to me. I don't remember by who New Jack guarding Sing Sing is the story of journalist Ted Conover who wanted to do a story on being a corrections officer, sometimes pejoratively referred to as a prison guard and not getting access to uh, 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 the training program and to uh, corrections officers. So Ted Conover decided to take the admissions test to become a corrections officer after two years, was invited to go to the academy, did it and actually worked at Sing Sing prison up uh, upstate from uh, New York City. It's again an incredible narrative nonfiction book. It's almost 20 years old at this point. Excellent, excellent book. Couldn't recommend it more highly. Now, for something different, I recently read the book by His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Beyond Religion. It's a very interesting take on how the Dalai Lama believes that you don't actually need religion to create a sort of functioning moral and ethical framework. A lot of religious figures believe. Religion is the only way to a moral and ethical framework. Um, And this is uh, uh, beyond religion, ethics for a whole world by the Dalai Lama. Excellent, interesting, a very quick read, only about one hundred and eighty pages, read it in a few days. And uh, the writing is is uh, compelling. It's interesting and it gives a perspective on how the Dalai Lama sees Buddhism fitting into a non uh, I guess we would call it a more secular ethics a more secular moral framework. Very interesting. And then lastly, I've been reading a lot of sort of older narrative nonfiction. Liars Poker by Michael Lewis. Liars Poker was written in, I believe it was the late 80s or early 90s. Let me see here. It was written in uh, having trouble actually finding that page. In any case, it's a story of Michael Lewis in 89. Michael Lewis uh, working for the now defunct Solomon Brothers in bond trading in the 1980s. It gives you incredible insight, number one, into the boys club that was Wall Street in the 1980s. Number two, Wall Street has definitely changed significantly since this book was written. And uh, it's a very, very interesting inside look and extraordinarily well written by Michael Lewis. That's Liars Poker by Michael Lewis. All of today's recommendations and my years of recommendations divided into fiction and nonfiction and other categories at davidpackmancom slash recommendations. Uh, if you're looking for things to read as you self isolate, social distance, physically distance, uh, this is a great time to pick up some of my recommendations. davidpackmancom slash recommendations.